Hi, I'm Shannon Green with At Chronic Pain Austin, which is my Facebook page. Today is going to be a video about sleep hygiene, specifically to many of us who suffer from insomnia. Um, I have many friends who have conveyed to me recently they're just not sleeping. And if they do go to sleep, it's only for a couple of hours at a time. So I wanted to share a couple of things that I've tried to cure my insomnia. Um, in, in most days, it's not a perfect science, but um, on good days, it really, really makes a huge difference. Um, so this is my kind of sleep hygiene schedule, uh, if you will. So meditating throughout the day is, of course, helpful. But even meditating right before bed um, is helpful to help settle your mind and you can do a guided meditation um, you can do uh, music like it's called binaural beats and I'll put links to some of my favorites in the comments below um, but I highly encourage you to start a meditation practice ideally if you can do it twice a day once in the morning and once in the evening um, I think is really helpful Another thing that I think is helpful is um, turning off all electronics at least an hour before bed. And if you can, get your phone out of your bedroom um, so that you're not responding to every ding. Or even if you don't answer an email, you hear that ding coming in of notifications. Uh, so I think that is helpful. Uh, measured count breathing. Deep breathing, I think, is so important. Um, I'm a shallow breather, meaning I breathe more through my mouth than my nose, and I'm not deep breathing through my abdomen. You want to deep breathe through your abdomen. And you want to do breath work all through your nose. You're going to inhale and exhale through your nose. So my favorite is a measure count breathing. It's a four count. You inhale for four, hold for four, and excel for four and I do like a light tapping on my hand to keep track um, of my counts and how this helps you is when you're focused on counting how many breaths you are achieving you're not thinking about your problems and everything else that is going on in the world so I think oh uh, measure count okay the very last thing I recommend right before you fall asleep is think about the three best parts of your day. Pick three things that were really good during that day and think about those um, as you fall asleep. So hopefully these things will help with your, your sleep hygiene and I pray that all of you get better sleep soon. Thank you so much. I'm Shannon Green with At Chronic Pain Austin. Thank you and have a blessed day.